with a H to grow, we'll be able to move beneficiaries from a dependent state to a more self-reliant state where they can be able to self-sustain themselves with the skills that they've learned, with the food that they'll be able to produce and make them champions. h to grow is the World Food Programme's hydroponics initiative that brings locally adaptable and affordable hydroponic solutions to communities around the world. Across WFP, hydroponics has directly impacted 45,900 people in 2021 and expanded to 21 countries. In Kenya, about 2% of food consumed by the urban population is produced locally. This means that people are dependent on purchased food and prices that are volatile. Viable land is hard to come by and a steady water supply is not guaranteed, especially in arid areas. Even there is no rain there here. Yeah. Well, we are suffering a lot. There is water problem. There is this uh, challenge that are facing us. Unreliable or limited water supply. Limited space and access to land. Seasonal limitations and effects of climate changes, such as frequent droughts. Lack of fertile soil. These are the issues h 2 grow is tackling head on. What has been special about uh, this is the ability to be able to put that human-centered design at the face of the project. Being able to interact with the beneficiaries through training modules and to be able to get to know more of their expectations and what they would want to see out of this. We intentionally tune the project to readily available local materials so that we are able to make it more scalable in future. And the beauty about this is the families themselves have been actually innovative about this process. Before the hydroponic, we can only eat ugali. When the hydroponic brought, we can eat vegetable. It allows farmers to grow crops seven to eight times faster, using 90% less water and 75% less space compared to conventional farming methods making it an ideal solution for food production in urban and arid areas. h to grow was developed with the goal of being easier to implement than other hydroponic systems by developing low-tech alternatives with local materials and creating tailored training programs, making it easy to understand and use. h to grow aims to equip people with the skills, materials and linkages to market to become micro-entrepreneurs and increase their income. Hydroponics farmers will be able to harvest fresh vegetables all year round. They will be able to leverage space that could not otherwise be used for agriculture. This will enable them to more than double their yearly income. And when we are studying the hydroponics in 2018, we can harvest it in 17 times. Every two weeks, we can harvest it. WFP is taking age to grow in Kenya to the next level through an innovative financing model. Together with the Kenya Country Office Innovation Unit, WFP will provide hydroponics units as asset-based loans for Kenya's urban communities. How will this asset-based loan program work? Firstly, farmers will receive a hydroponics kit. They will also receive training on how to farm crops that fit the market demand and how to increase their production. Lastly, farmers will be connected to buyers around the area. We are working on the loan program to make commercial hydroponics more affordable and accessible so that more vulnerable communities around the world can grow their own food and disrupt hunger.